I'm at the base of Ski Cooper in Leadville. I am about to start the Ski Cooper Loop, which is about a five and a half mile cross country ski that navigates around the ski area. On the way, I'm going to check out these trees up here on Chicago Ridge. The avalanche danger is um, quite low today on west facing slopes, so hopefully I get some turns in up there. So I'm now at about 11,800 feet on Chicago Ridge. I'm at tree line. The snow above me looks quite wind scoured. I'm looking across to Ski Cooper and <clears throat> Mount the Holy Cross right there. I'm gonna ski this lower angle slope right here. I don't wanna go any higher. I did hear some whomping, which is the snowpack collapsing. All right, ready for run number two. I'm back at about 11,800 feet. These trees right here. My last line was just to the right of me. So I'm gonna ski this down to the skin track and then back out to that intersection. We'll see how I feel when I get to that intersection. At that point, I'll decide if I wanna go around the hill or back to the parking lot. So I'm on the Continental Divide now. I decided that I would continue going on the Cooper Loop. So I've probably got another three miles to get back to the car. It's two in the afternoon. I've already climbed about 2,500 vertical feet. The snow up on Chicago Ridge was amazing. So a few thoughts on today's ski tour, eight and a half miles total, 2,500 vertical feet. The guidebook recommended that I ski in an anti-clockwise direction around the ski area. I opted to go clockwise and opted to ski the higher angle terrain first off. In retrospect, it probably would have been better to go anti-clockwise seeing that the ascent on the uh, southern side of the ski area is a lot more mellow. Um, and the descent would have been a lot steeper on the north side. So um, all in all, a great day in the mountains, and I look forward to coming back and skiing more in the Leadville area.